black and white photo of barracks at camp with mountain in the background, American flag waving, barbed wire fence scrolls from left to right, and words, 10 camps, 10 stories beyond the barbed wire. Black and white montage showing numerous incarcerates. In December 1944, black and white newspaper, English section, Rocky Shimpo, with article controversy over court jurisdiction highlighted. The United States Supreme Court ruled in ex parte Mitsui Endo. Two black and white photos of Mitsui Endo, one sitting at a typewriter and the other one standing on a platform waving. That it was beyond the power of the War Relocation Authority to detain citizens against whom no charges of disloyalty or subversiveness have been made for a period longer. Western Union Telegraph dated December 19, 1944, that says, I'm extremely joyous of results. Appreciate very much your long effort in restoring our rights, Mitsui Endo. Than that necessary to separate the loyal from the disloyal. Color video showing a soldier checking two incarcerates papers and then them stepping onto a bus. Detainees were released often to resettlement facilities and temporary housing and the camps were shut down by 1946. In the years after the war, black and white photo showing a Japanese American family standing at doors that are painted, no Japs wanted. The incarcerated Japanese Americans had to rebuild their lives Color video of Japanese American man running up a path to his house and being greeted by a child. United States citizens and longtime residents who had been incarcerated lost their personal liberties. Black and white video showing Japanese Americans stepping onto a bus. Their homes. Black and white video showing a deserted home. Businesses. Black and white picture showing a sign that says the Southern Coast Herald Japanese news with Japanese characters underneath. Property, black and white video of men loading furniture into a truck. And savings, black and white video showing two men going over paperwork in an office. In 1948, Black and white video showing Harry Truman signing papers on his desk. President Harry S. Truman signed the Evacuation Claims Act, which gave incarcerates the opportunity to... Black and white photo showing Japanese American family unloading belongings from a rack truck. Submit claims for property lost because of relocation. Color video showing President Gerald Ford signing paperwork with Japanese Americans behind him. On February 19, 1976, President Gerald Ford signed a proclamation formally terminating Executive Order 9066 and apologized for the internment. We now know what we should have known then. Not only was that evacuation wrong, but Japanese Americans were and are loyal Americans on the battlefield and at home. The names of Japanese Americans have been and continue to be written in America's history for the sacrifices and the contribution. Color photo of Gerald Ford signing the proclamation with Japanese Americans standing behind him. They have made to the well-being and to the security of this our common nation. It also established a fund. Photo of the American Promise proclamation by Gerald Ford that paid $1.6 billion in reparations to formerly incarcerated Japanese Americans or their heirs. In 1980, President Jimmy Carter signed legislation. Color photo of President Jimmy Carter signing a paper at a desk while Japanese Americans stand behind him. ...to create the Commission on Wartime Relocation and Internment of Citizens. Printed press release that says Carter creates Commission on Nisei Internment. The commission was appointed to conduct an official government study. Black and white photo of Japanese Americans sitting at a table with microphones testifying before Congress. Of Executive Order 9066, related wartime orders. 
black and white photo of two Japanese American women and one Japanese American man standing in front of the United States Capitol building. And their effects on Japanese Americans in the West and Alaska Natives in the Pribilof Islands. Black and white photo of Japanese Americans testifying before Congress and watching a gentleman sign a paper. In December 1982, the commission issued its findings that the incarceration of Japanese Americans had not been justified. Black and white video of buses leaving one of the camps while a group mills about. By military necessity and was based on race prejudice, war hysteria. Black and white photo of storefront Wanto Company with big sign, I am an American. And a failure of political leadership. Black and white video of Japanese Americans stepping off a bus while an American soldier looks on. The commission recommended an official government apology and redress of payments of $20,000 to each of the survivors. On August 10, 1988, color video of President Ronald Reagan sitting down to sign a paper while Japanese Americans stand behind him. The Civil Liberties Act of 1988, H.R. 442, to honor the 442nd Regimental Combat Team was signed into law by President Ronald Reagan. Photo of newspaper, The Pacific Citizen, with article, Redress Payments to Begin October 9th. On October 9th, 1990, a ceremony was held to present the first reparation check. Shortly thereafter, surviving incarcerate Several photos of Japanese Americans being handed their redress payment checks. Began to receive individual redress payments and a letter of apology from President George H.W. Bush. First, a copy of George H.W. Bush's letter with pictures of Japanese American incarcerates with the words imposed over top of them. Monetary sum and words alone cannot restore years or erase painful memories. Neither can they fully convey our nation's resolve to rectify injustice and to uphold the rights of individuals. We can never fully right the wrongs of the past, but we can take a clear stand for justice and recognize that serious injustices were done to Japanese Americans during World War II. In Sacramento, California, Color photo of Henry Takeda standing at a microphone and then Henry Takeda with his wife. A news conference was happening at the same time the first checks were being handed out. Henry Takeda, who was incarcerated in 1942 with his wife, agreed that the payments would not erase everything. He said, Montage of black and white photos of Japanese Americans who had been incarcerated. This gesture will lessen the pain and perhaps heal the wounds, but the scars will remain. I, for one, cannot forgive and cannot forget that this took place 48 years ago. I dedicate my remaining active years to be eternally vigilant that what has happened to the Japanese Americans solely because of what they were and not what they had done would never occur again. There's no, there's no way you could put a price on uh, the, what, what happened to it. Color video of George Horsh Yoshinaga being interviewed, wearing a gray sport jacket and glasses and facial hair. You know, whether it was $20 or $20,000. So, uh, and then the, a lot of people that I thought should have gotten something didn't get it. Because, uh, like my mother, I got a check for her, you know, that nobody ever in that position or the deceased did, got the, uh, the check from the government. She told him the story of what happened to us during World War II. Color video of Marielle Sukamoto being interviewed. She's wearing a pink shirt and glasses how we lost our constitutional rights, and why she wanted to let teachers know and teach about this so that children in the future would be prepared and not let this happen to another group. In 1988, the Civil Liberties Act was passed. 
montage of Tsukamoto family photos being shown on the screen. We fought for, received, and accepted redress. And I was a child. It was, you know, my grandparents' fight. And my parents did the fighting. But I am the recipient. The apology was really quite important. It meant we had done nothing wrong. And there's nothing I could say about that. Why was it given? Color video of Kenichi Murinaga being interviewed wearing a black shirt and glasses. They felt that this is going to redeem the, the, what they did to us. But to me, it was too late. The ones that deserved it are all gone. And all the kids, like my kid sister, she was only one year old. She got $20,000. My father lost the business, didn't get a penny. And my mother suffered. She didn't get nothing. So it was wrong. It's too late. But we accept it. Black screen with credits in white letters, National Park Service, Arrowhead in color. <laughs>